Hey, hey. So, on Friday evening, we gave our feelings and predictions for last night's Grammy Awards. And I am here now to say it was exactly as we expected. And yet, I'm still in disbelief. ABBA was nominated for four Grammy Awards. And judging by the way the Grammys work, considering their inner politics, I knew it was unlikely for ABBA to win, especially in the biggest category, Album of the Year. But when they didn't win the first three nominations, then I thought, maybe that's why they didn't win yet. Perhaps they would actually be winning the biggest category to make up for it, to finally acknowledge all those decades they were ignored by the Grammys. But once again, they decided, no, that's not going to happen. The Grammy Awards struggle with credibility, and I tell you why. Yes, I'm a fan of ABBA's music and artistry, so I might be biased but I always try to approach it objectively and realistically too. So here they are, not giving credit to four artists who have been in the music business for more than 60 years. That's twice as old as most people at the Grammy Awards. That's almost three quarters of a century. As a group, they've been away for four of those decades. And yet, their music has been around and rediscovered this entire time. Forty years later, they come back to reunite music one more time. All four members are still alive after a lifetime of being in the industry. And yet, the Grammys go, no, we're not honoring that with an award. This was their biggest chance. I'm talking about the Grammys now. This was their chance to give respect to legacy artists who came back after 40 years. That will never happen again. This was your chance and you snubbed them. You seem to be too proud. And it's not like they didn't honor legacy artists last night, no, no. Willie Nelson won for Best Country Album and Bonnie Raitt for Song of the Year with a song called Just Like That. Hmm, maybe Abba should do a song by that name. But genuinely, Bonnie Raitt gave a very moving speech. So can we please have more respect, more acknowledgement for old artists? I'm baffled how this show is actually regarded as the most important honor in music industry. In recent years, they have an extreme decline in viewership. Why? Again, I can only give you my feelings, but it was torturous to sit through this show. The vibes were very obvious. This show is politically correct, financially corrupt, and they're not even subtle with it. It's apparent from start to finish. And with all that, they completely missed the point of what it actually should be about. Music and artistry, and only that. And above all, if they wish for more views, they should not be insulting potential viewership, because that's what they actually did. They said that if you didn't watch the Grammys, you wouldn't know what music is. They literally said, you're a painful, painful person, that's what you are. Who are you? Huh? Who are you that you don't like music? So you, you don't want to watch Adele on possibly her biggest nights? Okay, I see you. You're a painful, painful person, that's what you are. Can we still take them serious? With this latest snob, they lost more credibility and added yet another historic shame to their slate. Sean B. let me know that ABBA is actually in good company. Queen never won a Grammy with four nominations and even the Beach Boys, America's band, has never won a Grammy award. It kind of feels nice that even here ABBA are on top with five nominations. Well. The best thing about it all is to see the dignity of ABBA. They never even commented on their nominations. They were requested to please give a comment on their first nomination. They gave one, but in a very cynical style. As far as I know, no one from their team or inner circle was at the shows. There was no appearance, no association whatsoever. They knew from the beginning what they are dealing with. They always retain their dignity with class and style. And it kind of feels good now that they were not given acknowledgement from a show that is full of hypocrisy. Now, this Friday, we will take a look into another historic moment when ABBA did not win. We're celebrating 50 years since they first tried to get into the Eurovision Song Contest in 1973. The difference here is, this was actually an important failure for them. So see you on Friday and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey -do.